What's going on guys? My name is Ben and welcome back to another video. You join me today on my first official drive since getting the primary cats deleted. I of course have driven this car since that video as I believe it was two videos ago now and uh, what I've really done in that time is kind of almost not got used to the sound but really learned um, its kind of sweet points, where it's good, what RPMs it sounds good in, when to rev match, things like that. So. I am more qualified to bring my thoughts and opinions over to you guys. Now, if you're unaware, this car is running the primary gutted D-Cats. Uh, it's important to emphasize on the word gutted uh, because it is essentially an OEM pipe with no internals in the primary cats, which is good to pass the visual MOT. Um, if you get test pipes um, installed instead, then it's gonna fail the visual. Um, and then running to the back box, which is the two and a half pipe mod. Now I had the back box installed before the cats and it did enhance the sound very nicely. However, it's amazing how quickly I got used to the sound. So hence the, uh, the modification with the D-Cats. My friends in the M3 kind of owners and community group say that they couldn't really tell a difference when they um, got the primary D-Cats. Now, from where I'm sitting, I definitely can. I'm just gonna overtake this tractor. There we go. Yes, so from where I'm sat, I can 100% feel that the car has a lot more lower torque um, and it just picks up so much better. Even as a driver, it pins me back into the uh, into my seat now, which is something it didn't necessarily do before. Now, and the next mod, and it's kind of recommended that you do this once you get the primary cats uh, deleted, is a stage two remap, which is something I am looking into, so stay tuned for that video. However, you are primarily here to see what, or hear what this exhaust now sounds like. And that is what I'm gonna do in this video. Uh, when I was looking for videos on YouTube, yes, there was plenty of videos of uh, the car from outside and it's screaming down the road at 8,000 RPM. And uh, I will be showing that, but I am also going to be showing you guys what it's like to live with. I'm gonna do some motorway runs, I'm gonna drive through some villages and a blast on these B roads, just so you get a bit more of a sense as to what it's like on full chat and also what it's like inside the cabin, because that is quite important. Um, just generally to live with, because it's not as loud and obnoxious as you would think. Uh, like now, I'm cruising along at 60 mile an hour, safe gear, there's no drone. And that is the biggest kind of misconception from people. They believe that when you take out the cats, the car drones, and it simply does not. Now, <laughs> I am on a B road, so let's drop the window a little bit. Hopefully there's not too much noise. This car as well now encourages you to rev match. <laughs> Third gear pull. cheeky rev there. That's what I mean about it resonating off the side of buildings. It sounds fantastic. <laughs> it's given this car supercar like characteristics and although from inside the cabin oh, the sound dead and it does quite a good job. I can assure you from the outside it's bloody loud. I love it, honestly. Like, as good as having the blast on the B road is, I just want to drive in a built up area in second gear and just listen to the burbles and the 
kind of roaring V8 that echoes off the building because it is fantastic. Let's give you guys a little sound clip of some more B-Road blasting. Second gear, 4,000 RPM, all the way up to eight. Ready? absolute monster it is definitely faster you think how fast it's going to be after a bloody remap if that's just 10 or 15 little ponies i've released through the exhaust then christ almighty what's this thing going to be like when it's pushing around 450 brake <laughs> I just made the exhaust crack as well. If you watch my video with Mant, uh, as his car was a DSG, he very easily got the exhaust to crack when changing gear. It's obviously a lot harder in the manual, but I do believe I heard a crack when I went through that tunnel. <laughs> Right then, let's do a little motorway test because a lot of people believe that this will drone on the motorway and it's just not the case at all. You can take this on a road trip and it'll be perfectly fine. If I just get it up to 70 miles an hour now, whack on the cruise control, once it idles itself out, this is 70. It's not that droney to me. Oh, it's definitely livable and by when you've got the music on as well, you can't even hear it. I can't hear it at all now. <laughs> it's brilliant. Right then guys, as fun as it is to just rag the car around, I'm just going to show you what it's like driving through a village and having the sound of that V8 resonating off the walls. You don't have to do massive speed to enjoy the sound of this car like so literally three and a half thousand rpm and it sounds fantastic two walls here <laughs> now at the risk of annoying every resident here i'm going to attempt a downshift as i come through this bit oh. I think I'm gonna actually turn around and do that again. Red match. Oh. The DCT is good, but when you do it in a manual and you get it right, it is so rewarding. Now let's just finish this video off by going and doing a little... <laughs> Brick wall. Oh, oh, oh. It kind of farts at the, when you let off really aggressively. sounds amazing but anyway guys i think that is where i'm going to end today's video so to conclude i am over the moon with this exhaust mod it is fully transformed the entire characteristics of the car i say if you are debating doing the primary decat 100 percent go for it you will not regret it and then once you mate that up with the two and a half pipe uh, back box mod it's incredible, honestly. Oh, just listen to that. It is ridiculous. Anyway, guys, that is where I'm going to end today's video. I really do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you do not miss out on any of my future upcoming content and modifications, including a remap with my E92 M3. And I also teased in my last video that, fingers crossed, there will be a small European road trip in mid-September. Fingers crossed that actually happens. Of course, we've got COVID going on, so who knows? But anyway, once again, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.